the ecosystem this is a self-contained unit that comprises of plants, animals, and decomposers. These make up the living environment and soil, water, and air that make up the non-living environment. For an ecosystem to function, it requires sunlight energy for its maintenance. When I say maintenance, in order for plants animals and decomposers to function together. Sun energy or solar energy is very vital for their development. There are two types of ecosystems in general. Grasslands, forests, deserts, mountains, ponds, rivers and lakes or seas. This can be broken down further Grasslands, forests, deserts, mountains form what are called the terrestrial ecosystem or the land-based ecosystem. Ponds, river, lakes, and seas form the aquatic ecosystem or the water-based ecosystem as shown in this diagram. As I stated, ecosystems were of two types, the land and the aquatic. But at the same time, we have non-living, referred to as the abiotic, and the living, which is the biotic. These two components make up the ecosystem also. The abiotic comprises of the physical environment around us, like soil, water, air, and physical and chemical factors like temperature, light, humidity, and pressure. The biotic component, on the other hand, is a community of organisms like plants and animals that make up interdependent populations. The biotic component comprises of producers, consumers, and decomposers, and are of three different types. Have a look at the diagram of the ecosystem. We have the abiotic factor, and then we have the biotic, which comprises of producers, consumers, and decomposers. Have a look at producers. Autotrophic organisms, basically organisms that produce their own food from simple inorganic substances like carbon dioxide and water by using sunlight energy in the presence of chlorophyll. Yes, we are referring to green plants and if they are water-based, blue-green algae. Consumers, on the other hand, are those that eat food that have been prepared by the producers. So when we look at animals like goats, cows, deers, even humans, we are all classified as consumers. Food that is produced by plants is directly consumed by animals, as I had mentioned earlier. So they are referred to directly as direct consumers. These animals are then eaten or consumed by other animals, like dogs, like big cats and humans, which obtain their energy indirectly by eating the animals. Consumers can be divided into three categories. Let's have a look. They are the herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. We've all come across the terminology saying, I'm a vegetarian, I'm a vegan. Yes, we are referring to herbivores. These are plant-eating organisms and are called primary consumers as they obtain the food directly from the producer. Examples like cows, goats, sheep, deers, rabbits, elephants, and humans also have the tendency to eat only plants. Carnivores, on the other hand, are meat-eating organisms and these obtain their food from the herbivores. 
So as a result, they obtain the food from primary consumers and as a result are referred to as secondary consumers. Lions, cats, dogs, birds like falcons, eagles, snakes. Omnivores, generally the higher species as we'd say humans, but other animals like bears, crows, and these kind of organisms also rely on both plant and animal matter for their food source. Meaning to say they eat both plants and meat for their sustenance. What are decomposers? When anything decays, it goes and turns into a waste product. Organisms like bacteria and fungi are incapable of producing their own food. So as a result, they feed or live off dead and decaying plant and animal bodies. Why are they important is because they act as cleansing agents within our environment. The nutrients that they absorb into their system is then returned back to the soil which is again utilized by the plant for manufacturing the food. They continue this process of the cycle of life or death because in order for decomposers they have to be available and thrive to return back the nutrients to the soil which again is used by the plants otherwise plants would not be able to produce food animals would not be able to live off the plants and other animals in the hierarchy in the higher chain group would not feed or be able to live off the other animals as a result of this evolution would not take place I hope you've enjoyed the presentations. If you'd like to see more presentations, you can always visit us on our website at www.arrangeacademy.com. Furthermore, for a subscription, you could always check us out on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash arrangeacademy. You can subscribe to us also on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash C slash Academy. Thank you.